I'm on winter break right now, but I did enroll in classes in November. I have taken five classes next semester. So today, I'm gonna look up every single professor on Rank My Professor to know what I'm getting into, because I decided not to look them up before and just enroll, because these are classes I need. But today, we're just gonna look them up just to see if they're good, all right? So on my iPad, if I'm looking down this way. I'm gonna go to rate my professor. I'm gonna put in my school, University of Connecticut. And now we're gonna start looking up professors. All right, so my first professor that I'll be meeting on my first day is my physics professor. Yes, I'm taking physics. We're gonna look at his score. Please have like a four or a three. I'll take a three at this point. He has a... 4.8. It says for the physics class I'm taking, which is like basic physics, it says easiest lab course. I learned so much. His expectations are clear. He wants you to do good. And the labs are simple. Some quests, optional homework, three exams and a final. He looks at your improvement is willing to lift your grade up because of it. Great sweet guy. Quests can be completed multiple times and exams exactly like homework and quests. Another one said, if you're decent at math and science, this is an easy class to take. If you come to class, pay attention, read the notes, do the homework. Exams are exactly the same as course content. Professor Letty is also very nice and willing to help anytime and with anything. If you want a good lab course, this is the one to take. I love how all of these say, would you take again? And they're all like, yes. And I love that. Dr. Letty is a great professor. He makes He's really funny, makes the lectures majority interesting, and cares so much about his students. If you have a physics question, email him and he'll be on top of it almost every second of the day. Yes, physics is hard, but Professor Luddy makes it interesting, would recommend. These are some good reviews. And then the most recent, I'm not scrolling down to when he was teaching back in 2020, because we were online, so I don't, I don't care. All right. The next class I have to take after physics, just going by the way how my schedule set up, is history. Okay, I found it. Or him, I don't know. The rating is um average. It's like that. I don't, I don't know how to feel. Is that the one I'm taking? Are we absolutely certain? No, that is not the one I'm taking. I'm just gonna look at all courses. And what it says. None of these are recent, but they're not good. A lot of people are saying like, there's a lot of reading, there's a lot of papers. And then one person said that regularly assigns a hundred plus pages of reading per week all these aren't really my class either so i don't know how to feel guys tough grader get ready to read so many papers lecture heavy let's look at the next place all right moving on my next class after history is psychology Y'all, she only has one rating. One rating, and it says awful. Do not take this class with her. I swear this wasn't here when I enrolled in the class. Like, y'all, I'm not playing. I'm not playing. This is a warning, but I have to take this class. Like I, I need it. I'm just gonna have to suck it up and put my big boy. <laughs> I, I don't know what they mean. Cause what do they mean by that? What, what do they mean? Can they elaborate? Who are you? 
I just want to talk. And then my next class after that is another psych class. It's with one of my favorite professors, Matthew. Now, the reason why this is one of my favorite professors is, eh, is because I took the him my freshman year when I first got into UConn. He was my entry psych professor. He don't take no shit. He is a you don't show up, you're fucking up on your own. He takes no shit and he'll be honest with you. You can't come to him crying like, oh, well, I didn't show up to class without an excuse. So just be like, that's your fault, dude. Um, If you have a real excuse, you have like a real issue, he understands, but he's a really, really nice guy. And that's why he deserves the rating he has. I'm gonna show you the thing. Five out of five. That man's a great professor. So for the class I'm taking, it says the GOAT. He's really just a great guy, you will learn so much. Not too much work at all, but do have to attend lectures to succeed. My favorite class of professor I've had my whole entire college career. Even more. Can't recommend taking a class with Jaime enough. Lectures never drag because he's excited about the material and presents it in an engaging way. He also makes a lot of dad jokes, which I enjoy. Class is rated based on six exams. You can skip one to have it counted as the average of others. In an easy paper, which he did not grade harshly at all. Yeah. Honestly, if you know how to take notes and you know how to, um, like, show up to class, you probably won't fail. My freshman year, we had, I think it was 10 exams, and you could skip the final, and the ninth one was the final. You could skip the final to count, to have it counted as the average of the other ones. So think about it, if you had 100, 100, 100, 100 on all these 10 question exams, your final would have been 100. No need to show up. Um, my start of the year, I didn't know how to take notes or like anything like I was bad. I didn't go look back at the slides and that thing. So I started off, I have probably one of the best climbs in that class. My first exam, I got a D, and then I got another D. Then I got a 50, and I said, oh, this sucks. And he was like, are you guys, like, not learning? What's going on? So I went to, like, my academic achievement center, and I learned how to take notes. And I just took what I wrote down whatever he said in class and went back, looked at the slides, all that. And then, boom. 95, 85, 90, 95. I was so mad on my final, I got a 95. I got one wrong and the funny thing is I erased it and I changed the answer and then ends up the one, the answer I erased was right. My last class is a human development and family science. Her rating is a 4.8 out of five. I've heard good things about her. She looks out for her students' mental health and treats us as her friends. The workload is somewhat heavy, but definitely not difficult. The journals are mostly based on your opinions and quizzes are online with extra time. Her lectures are boring, but often increased class discussion and includes videos to make them go faster. Love her. I learned so much from my, about myself in this class. Her, her lectures are full of good stuff. I love the BL program. She tells you what she expects from your journals, follow directions, they're really easy and actually helpful to write, blah, blah, blah. And one of these things, it, she uploads a slice of Husky and I highly recommend that you print them out. It makes it so much easier, but you need to show up since there are blinks in the slides. Exams are super easy if you show up to take the notes. The virtual child stuff is really fun. It seems fun. A 4.8 out of five is not bad, guys. Her ratings seem very, very good. But it seems like it seems like this semester I have these classes where you need to show up to lecture in order to pass. I haven't read one that was like you can stay home and learn online. They were all like show up, lecture heavy, lecture heavy, lecture heavy. I know for physics, like that's the most definitely you gotta show up to labs, you gotta show up to lecture. You ain't gonna learn if you don't show up to either. 
my psych class. I kind of figured. I'm already buying textbooks now. My textbooks come in soon. I wouldn't recommend buying textbooks for like freshmen. I would recommend emailing your professor and asking, do I need textbooks? But because UConn has a system where the um, professors put in what you need in it so you can get it through our program. For anyone like who doesn't know, normally you don't buy textbooks until the professor tells you to buy textbooks. I'm buying textbooks now because my professor's already said to buy textbooks. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed me looking at my professors, then leave a like below. Leave a comment down below if you've ever lived with your professors and what's the worst like situation you've been in. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.